All right, welcome to Fox's Den Genetics. Thank you for stopping by and checking me out. Um, we're going to be focusing on a brake roll, which I said I would do. We're going to do a 1968S. So as a coin dealer, I go through, sort through coins, tons and tons of coins, and I try to pick out the best examples that are, could be profitable and send them in. Now, when you do send in things to grading companies, it's all subject subjectable. Um, each grading company has their own way of doing things. I know with PCGS, they uh, they have three graders that grade a coin, and they decide on a grade between the three. NGC, I think, is set up the same way. Um, but NGC goes more for the collect, you know, the collector part of it, you know. The, instead of PCGS has got a higher grading standard and they're a lot stricter on their grading. So, um, best way to obtain high graded, you know, high graded coins and whatnot is through uncirculated bank rolls or uncirculated rolls. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do a 1968 S um, penny cent uh, tonight. I took a roll out of my collection for this video. I got more rolls uh, I plan on doing in the future, but we're just going to do one roll today. Um, I'm bringing up a price guide here so you guys can see. Um, we're after, I would say, 67 to 68. That would be the sweet spot. And I'll show you guys as I go through what could be a candidate for a 67, 68. Sometimes you get lucky in these rolls, and sometimes you just don't. Um, that's just the way it goes. Um, but this is NGC's price guide for the 67s and whatnot, and it's it's really only worth sending in red pennies. It, it really is high grade red pennies. Um, yeah, the, the the brown pennies, high grade brown, but they're they're a lot. They're, they're a lot more, uh, they're not nearly as valuable as the reds in the higher grades. Um, so you want to focus on the reds, and I'll show you guys what a red penny is when I pull this roll out and everything. So, um, the 1968S and NGC goes for 67 is 300, 67 plus is 3,400, and 68 is not noted. But there's only one in the population that's a 68 through NGC. Now, 68S through PC, PCGS. This is a 67 red. You see the details. Not really much. No marks on it, really. There's some, but not some blemishes, but not many. Um, we'll go around here. You see the collar. Oh, you see, yeah, you see the discrepancies. Uh, right in the right in Lincoln, right in the middle when you want to be as clean as possible because that's you know right in the middle is where the eye appeal is and everything you know where it starts where it starts that's where they look is the face the hairline the, then the suit um, with the reverse same thing you need to look over it look for any discrepancies I mean to send in something you don't I mean the Sheldon scale says from 67 from MS 67 to uh, MS-70, well, MS-69, excuse me, the MS-69, there can be a discrepancy of four marks on the coin. Um, basically, to get those high grades, it has to be luster and not nearly as much discrepancy. See, these little discrepancies, some of these little discrepancies, they don't count, but basically, um, it, it, it the realistic thing on the older coins, the vintage coins, is you're not going to get an MS-70. You're going to get lucky to get an MS, I would say, 66 to 68. 68 is, you're, you're, you're doing good and you're really, you're really lucky. <laughs> and you came across a really good coin, a really good coin, and you're very fortunate. Um, but... Uh, yeah, the, the 70s, MS 70s and, and the older older coins are almost unobtainable uh, due, due because MS 70 is pristine condition. It's just like, it's supposed to look like it just came out of the mint, you know what I mean? 
Like it's brand looks brand brand new. No scratches, no blemishes. It's got a luster to it. Everything. So um, yeah. Plus you know. All right. So for an MS, well, sixty six sixty six plus is worth more than what it costs to send it in to be graded through PCGS. Because it costs about $40 because I get pictures with my stuff because I like to have visual references of grades and what the coins look like and this and that to base things and teach teach you guys on too as I'm learning. Um, I've been doing this for about a year, so this is all this is new to me. Um, so the uh, MS66 Plus is 55, 67 is 160, 67 Plus is 3,150, and a 68 is 7,400. And there's two in the population through PCGS, five and 67 Plus through PCGS. Um, NGC, eight, 3,400. So NGC would be the better one to send in. Because you want it when you're sending in a coin of a certain year and you find it's a good grade, you want to go back and forth between the price guides and see which which company grading company has the higher price guide and everything before you send off. And generally, the higher one is what you want to go for. But you know, in saying that PCGS has a higher grading standard, so it could be a little bit harder. To obtain that 68 comparatively to NGC, who's not nearly as strict as PCGS. So there is that. All right, so let's get into this roll break here. All right, let's set this up here. All right, so here's an old uncirculated roll. We're going to see what we can get out of it. Always use gloves. I don't any messing with any money. Always use gloves. Uh, I don't care. You, you can, the oils from your skin can damage those coins, um, and uh, you're messing with old coins. Like I went through a bank bag that was not you know a hundred year old bank bag, and and I literally kid you not. When I was done with just a quarter of the bag, my gloves were just covered in filth. So, yeah, whenever you guys mess with these coins, use gloves because over the years shit gets built up and plus if they're if they're circulated coins from a circulated bank bag, then um there's going to be a lot more possibility of, you know, g grime and junk being on them comparatively to a bank bag that has not been that's uncirculated has gone through circulation. All right, so let's get started in this one roll. Um, 68 S's. So you open up here. Let's do a reverse. And these are reds. Always have an issue. We're just gonna scoot these on out here. Uh, so I'm gonna tear it. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear it. Just to prevent them from going against each other. So, all right, we got this whole roll. Let's start going through some of this stuff. All right, see, this is this is this is not worth keeping to send in. You see that the scrap is a big scratch. If you were to send a coin in like this, that has that mark on it right there, you can see it right there. You would get not even a grade on it. They would consider they would mark it as a un, genuine uncirculated with a scratch or scrape on it. If you were to look, you know, the coin looks good and everything. That's the only discrepancy is that one line. Yeah, that, that one line is what's going to make you waste your money on grading it because that, that, that's, that's, that's just a discrepancy. 
All right, so let's see here. No good fingerprints. See, this is why you wear gloves. Prime example of why you wear gloves. There's fingerprint mark. So this tells me right here, right here, that this is not an actual roll from the bank. It was a roll that was put together because if it was a roll from the bank, there wouldn't be any fingerprints on those coins. Um, I get these from uh, auction houses. And I get them from uh, deal coin dealers. Some of the stuff I get from coin dealers, other coin dealers. So, yep, that's the discrepancy in that one. Reverse, rent it all. Set that one back. This one, there's a little discrepancy right there. But that that would be that wouldn't be considered a well yeah it would be considered a scrape it's too too uh, right there corrosion starting so that could have been from this coin pop from not being stored properly nope no good. You generally find the good stuff in the center of a roll anyway. You generally get can pull a 67 out of one roll generally if it's from the bank and hasn't been you know stored improperly or anything like that. Some discrepancies right there on the by the number and the chin and over here, over here's a discrepancy. Let's see here, so you have you don't want you don't want the minimum amount of scratches on these coins. And you can kind of see by his nose, there's one by that chin. See that right by up above that nine by that chin. Yeah, that's not that's not good. And these are red pennies. These are the kind of pennies that you want to go through, and you want to sort because in the high grades they're they're worth a, a good amount of money. As we just as we just went through and I showed you. Discrepancy right on the coat. <sighs> Scrape on that immediately goes to the burn pile. Chin's got marks on it. Nope.
Nope. Oof. That chin's got corrosion on it, and that right by the uh, memorial. Marks. Reverse was good, but reverse is no good. Reverse messed up. Yeah, these were these were sorted out. These are not exact. These are not from the bank. These were somebody already put them in a roll. But sometimes it, it can work out. Sometimes it doesn't. Like in the tubes and stuff. Something like this. Sometimes the, the old roll was just not worth keeping it in or they got you know something happened to the roll and they needed to put it in a new roll or into a tube uh, that happens sometimes too but I don't think that that was the case for this we got three more rolls to go through I'm gonna do a roll a night Maybe we'll find something in there. Otherwise, this will be bagged and tagged and resold. It's not, I mean, they're uncirculated, but they're not to my standards worth keeping. that's the way it goes as a prime example even you buy from these ebay auctions places like that um you typically want to stay away from rolls that look like this that's what i'm going to tell you uh look for stuff that says like federal federal reserve or um um oh what's this company right here Oh, I can't remember all the names of the companies, but there's several companies that um, you that are like mainstream, like they pack the coins for the mint, and those are the ones that you want to. Oh, so this one's a pretty good one. So we did find some. Well, no, 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 never mind. I can mark myself. See you right by the T. Right by the T. There's a, there's a see that smudge right there. Nope. Everything else looked pretty decent on it though, for the most part. So yeah, this is, this is a prime example of what I tell you. You can buy a roll and go through it and apps not have anything worth sending in. Here is a prime example, as well as you can obtain rolls that to have junk in them pretty much I've already sorted out stuff which you know it could possibly be this role too yeah that's no good no good Right in there, you can 
see kind of like it looks like something scraped against it. So yeah, this seems to be a dud roll. We got three more to go through to see if we can get something. I'm gonna check this one other one other penny out that I pulled to see if it's possible how it looks. But yeah, these are or you can see right there that line going like right there, man. No good, no good, no good, but that's the way it goes really. By uh, corrosion starting on it. Now, old buddy, just fly out in here. Yep, no good. So here's one I pulled. So it's still no good. So prime example of a roll being no good. I have had rolls where they are good rolls, and uh, I find I find some good stuff in them. I've had a roll where it's been like eleven coins out of the roll has been fucking good to keep. You know, it's been a sixty-six up. And then there's also rolls where there ain't nothing in it. Like nickels are a, a real nightmare to get good grade nickels and be profitable because they have to be full steps which I'll go into detail about too because I have a few of those too so to show you guys there's a whole bunch of stuff but I just wanted to start with a roll break do something like that show you guys explain to you guys um, stay away from these rolls if the, these rolls look like this stay away from them if you see them on eBay or something I wouldn't invest in them because I think somebody already went through them. Like I said, um, there's uh, stuff from the Federal Reserve is, is probably the best. Um, or even you take a chance with, like I said, with coin tubes. Coin tubes would probably be better than seeing these, though, because you still have that chance that they dumped the roll into those coin tubes because they wanted to prevent those coins from turning red-brown or they wanted or they or you know it, the the wrapper got rip, ripped or something like that so all right well thank you guys i appreciate y'all stopping by and everything um i'll be doing more stuff here soon um appreciate your time peace